Hey, Psych2Goers, and welcome back to another video. Before we start, we would like to give you a big thanks for all the support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. Now, let's begin. Are you extremely afraid of being judged by others? Are you very self-conscious in everyday social situations? Do you avoid meeting new people? These are all trademark signs of social anxiety, which affects approximately 15 million people in the United States alone. Social anxiety disorder is classified as a significant amount of fear, embarrassment, or humiliation in social or performance-based situations. It goes far deeper than mere shyness. Where shyness is more of a personality trait, social anxiety disorder can cause significant disruption of your daily life. Before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. If you suspect you may have social anxiety disorder or any mental health condition, we highly advise you to seek help from a qualified mental health professional. With that said, here are nine things that social anxiety makes us do. One, repeatedly double checking the location and time. Do you find yourself repeatedly checking your phone to make sure you're in the right place? It can be terrifying for those with social anxiety to arrive late or walk into the wrong room. So double or even triple checking information is a must. Even if you know you've got the details right, it can bring you peace of mind just to make sure. It may be the difference between walking in with confidence or hesitation. Two, rehearsing conversations in your head ahead of time. While this may be a subconscious practice at first, Many people who face social anxiety rehearse things they're going to say before they have the actual conversation. This often begins as imagining future conversations or running through a list of important points to discuss. Some people find it more helpful to physically practice having a conversation as well. That being said, not everyone who rehearses their conversations beforehand necessarily has social anxiety. Memorization and practice are both common tools to aid you in feeling nervous. Whether you're anxious about public speaking, talking to a specific person, or being social in general. Number three, avoiding phone calls. Even though it's become a bit of a joke among millennials and Gen Zers who prefer to text, avoiding phone calls is actually a fairly common behavior for people with social anxiety. Psychologist Lindsay Sharfstein told Headspace, anxiety is typical for all of us. It's a universal emotion that we can all relate to. For the most part, we know that individuals are not afraid of phones. They have phones in their office, backpack, purse. What they're typically afraid of is the evaluation or judgment that may happen when they're on a phone. This may be why some people prefer to text instead of talk on the phone. The more distance one can put between themselves and the other person, the more comfortable they generally feel interacting. Or faking phone calls. Have you ever pretended to be in the middle of a call just to avoid talking to someone or worn headphones to discourage others from approaching you? Although it's safe to assume that phone calls are not something that people with social anxiety look forward to, making a call can come in handy. It can be a lot easier to act busy rather than face the awkwardness of an unwanted conversation. So this can become a habit of avoidance if you have social anxiety. Five, constantly worrying about how everyone sees you. According to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America, those with a social anxiety disorder are increasingly concerned about how they are perceived by others. The last thing they want is to come off as awkward, fumbling, or boring. You've likely felt this way at some point throughout your life, whether it's the desire to fit in with friends or making a good impression on a potential employer. With social anxiety, however, this pressure to perform feels constantly heavy and can lead to full-blown panic attacks when in social or performance-based situations. Number six feeling lonely even when you're surrounded by people. People with social anxiety can share this feeling with those who battle depression and other mental illnesses as well. So unfortunately, a lot of people can relate to this isolating feeling. When social anxiety keeps you from being your true self, it can be difficult to feel included at all. It's frustrating to be close to others, but not be able to connect with them in a comfortable way. If you're struggling to properly communicate and are extremely hesitant to even start a conversation, that adds to your feelings of loneliness, even when you're surrounded by others. Number seven, clenching your teeth and other physical discomforts. Do you feel shaky or lightheaded when faced with a social situation? Does your heart rate speed up or do your hands tremble? The stress that comes with social anxiety can manifest through physical symptoms. Many of the symptoms are signs of nervousness, such as sweating, flushing, and feeling shaky. 
According to Mayo Clinic, you might also be dealing with muscle tension, feeling that your mind has gone blank, or have trouble catching your breath. Number eight, obsessing over how you look. When you're constantly worried about how others perceive you, you're likely to be concerned with how you look as well. You might have a distorted body image and think that you're less physically attractive. Your thoughts can flit from your hair to your clothes or flaws in your skin, but thinking that it's just all wrong. In an attempt to feel comfortable in your own skin, you might spend an inappropriate amount of time and money on fixing your appearance, such as shopping for better clothes, getting high-end beauty products, or going on diets if you think you're overweight. And number nine, you feel more like yourself around the people you're comfortable with. You think you're picky about who you spend time with? In Triumph Over Shyness, Conquering Social Anxiety Disorder, Dr. Murray B. Stein and John R. Walker discuss behavior in children called selective mutism. This is when a child speaks and acts normally around select individuals, but is completely silent around everyone else or when placed in certain situations. This is a more extreme example, but it shows how those with social anxiety are more likely to relax and open up around people they already know and trust. Do you or anyone you know resonate with any of these points mentioned in this video? If you're concerned about social anxiety disorder, we encourage you to speak with a mental health professional. They can help you overcome any fears or debilitating problems you might have. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up and share it with someone who might find it helpful as well. The studies and references used in this video are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.